In your very hand is found the crossroads. Within all joy are the seeds of suffering. Within all suffering are the seeds of joy. But it is your choice which of these seeds to plant. The world has lost its mind. It doesn't take a genius to see it. It is all around you. It is in the corruption now resident in the power structures that govern human society. It is in the increasing disasters like flooding and forest fires that show no mercy for time. And it is in the disorienting and harsh realities of global climate change. It is in the COVID measures taken to control in the name of safety and hidden agenda. It is in both the ignorant obedience and the paranoid rebellion of citizens around the world. It is in the prejudice and racism in some people. It is in the self-congratulatory performative wokeness of others. It is in the revival of citizen policing and the absolute failure on behalf of people to see what a slippery slope that is, as well as their failure to see just whom that dysfunctional behavior benefits. I'll give you a hint. It isn't the citizens who benefit. It is in decisions like those that were just made in Texas, taking humanity even further away from body sovereignty in a world already speeding away from it at warp speed. It is in the contradictory messages and information we are fed. It is in the different and even completely polarized perceptual realities that we are all stuck in. The gap between these polarized realities growing larger every single day. It is in the outright denial and plethora of other coping mechanisms people are using to deal with all of this or avoid dealing with it altogether. We all keep looking for the light at the end of the tunnel, but this is a tunnel that seems to have no end. People are fast approaching the threshold of the level of distress they can take. And unfortunately, this breakdown is exactly what certain other people are waiting to capitalize on. It is in the mistakes that were made in generations past that instead of being learned from are being repeated. The world has become absolutely nonsensical. And what so many people feel is that life on Earth today feels like an apocalypse. But the worst thing of all is that people don't feel like they can do anything about it. The gap between the citizens and whoever genuinely makes the rules that govern them is so wide that people are beginning to feel like it doesn't matter what they think or say or do. That they have no way of directly reaching or communicating with those in charge. That they are powerless to whatever is decided for them and that any power it used to seem like they had was all just for show. When the world as we have known it is falling apart, it will seem like there is no way to find the right answer for what to do relative to every single thing that is going wrong. You will find yourself caught in dilemmas such as, do I protest or is protesting pointless? Do I face the plethora of mounting consequences for not complying to mandatory vaccination or do I give in? Do I resist the takeover of technology, or do I realize that there is no resisting technology and adopt an if you can't beat them, join them approach? Does driving my car less in recycling and not buying stuff on Amazon count for doing my part to reduce negative climate impact, or do I just accept that I have no actual control over the fact that major corporations can't be stopped, and so humanity is doomed to create their own extinction, and drag millions of other species with them? Are you feeling overwhelmed yet? There's an antidote to this overwhelm. There is a way to distill this whole apocalyptic situation in the world down to its essence, and by doing so, to know what to do. You have to see what's really going on, and what is really going on is a global healing crisis. For those of you who are not as familiar with alternative health, a healing crisis is a worsening of symptoms that arises when we go through a healing process. The most classic example of this is when you detoxify your body. When you go through a detoxification, oftentimes symptoms become worse instead of better and new ones crop up. You become aware of how out of alignment your body actually was. The first thing you must understand is that your body is a system. When the system of the body is out of alignment, and that malalignment is not addressed or resolved, it becomes illness. But guess what? Your family is a system. Your society is a system. Your world is a system. Your universe is a system. And when any system is out of alignment and thus unhealthy for a long period of time, and that malalignment is not addressed and resolved, it becomes illness. Humanity is a system that has been out of alignment for a very long time, 
and humanity is out of alignment with the system of the world at large, it has essentially become a cancer. What you are seeing today is the visible manifestation of that malalignment. So many more forces than you could possibly be aware of have been contributing to the process of healing relative to this illness within the human race. And now we find ourselves in a healing crisis. The human shadow that is inherent within each and every one of us is no longer hidden from view. It is out in the open and in plain view. The question is, are you brave enough to face it? Are you brave enough to recognize it and resolve it within yourself? The greatest insanity that exists within the human race is the refusal to recognize and address problems at their root. As people, we spend our time running around trying to suppress, deny, and fix surface symptoms as if those surface symptoms were in and of themselves the problem. We utterly fail at resolving the deep systemic root of those surface symptoms and thus we fail to recognize and resolve the actual problem. You see this failure all over society. Instead of seeing the reality of the lack of resources and education available to people relative to sexuality and reproduction, most especially those who are financially poorest in society, we outlaw abortion. A law that will only serve to worsen the root cause of the very surface problem that we are trying to solve. Because don't think for a second that this law won't yet again negatively impact women, minorities, and the poor at the very most. Instead of seeing the reality of the zero-sum game, we are playing with the world regarding how we farm and preserve and ship and eat food, and accepting that we are making people sick. Our pharmaceutical industries come up with yet another medicine for diabetes or indigestion or cancer. Until it is just considered normal for every person to be on a cocktail of medications, and don't think for a second that it benefits large pharmaceutical industries for people to be healthy. Your health puts them out of business. If you don't heal the root of any problem, it won't only not get resolved. More and more symptoms will pop up all over the system itself, until you find yourself in an overwhelming clusterfuck of negative manifestations. Sound familiar? And so the challenge that is ahead of you, and the power that you do have, is to look for and resolve the root. Resolve it in yourself, and then see what words and actions arise from that process regarding what choices you make and things you do relative to others. I am not saying that the recognition of and treatment of symptoms doesn't have a place. What I'm saying is that the recognition of and treatment of symptoms is absolutely pointless and often only serves to worsen the underlying negative root condition when it is not done in conjunction with healing that root condition. And right now we are getting nowhere because people are focusing only on the surface symptoms and arguing over what to do about them. To get ourselves out of this mess, you need to see and accept that racism is a surface symptom. It is the result of the belief that we are separate from one another. Pandemic is a surface symptom. It is the result of the human race being out of balance with the rest of the system of the natural world because we do not take the natural world as a part of ourselves. We are trapped in a narcissistic bubble. Government control is a surface symptom. It is the result of fear driving a person to believe they need to control another person for the sake of their own well-being. Crime is a surface symptom. It is the result of trauma, unmet needs, and lack of resources. Compliance is a surface symptom. It is the result of being out of touch with one's own power and free will. It is a result of being stuck in determinism. The vaccine controversy that you see in the world today is a controversy about a surface symptom. The empowerment that you do have in what is happening in the world is to be a part of the solution to the actual root of what is happening in the world today. This means you must seek the root. You must become the antidote to that root dysfunction that you see in the world. For example, if you see that the root of the way people are behaving is fear, then see that the antidote to fear is understanding and love. You must put more effort into understanding everything and everyone than you have ever put forth before. And you must make the conscious choice to love, which is to include others as a part of yourself. If you see that the root of the polarization in the world is the perception of separation, become a uniting force. Awaken to oneness yourself. If you see that cruelty is what created the trauma that created the zero-sum game behavior between people in the world, become radically kind and devote yourself to finding a win-win with all other things in existence. 
If you see that the root of the environmental upheaval is that people are out of alignment with the natural world, dedicate yourself to coming back into alignment with the natural world. Get out of your own narcissistic bubble and narcissistic way of relating to other species in this world. If you see that the root of a certain problem is ignorance, then become educated and spread information out into the world. Take each and everything that is upsetting you in the world and look to what the deepest root cause of it is. Make your thoughts, words, and actions into an antidote to that root cause. No one can stop you from making yourself into an antidote, and the more people that become the antidote, the closer the root problem is to being healed. When living in the world is like being tossed in the ocean surf to the point where you no longer know what way is left or right or up or down, sink deeper. Down in those still depths, you will find the actual source of those surface occurrences. Travel down the branches of the problem you are tangled in to the root. If you recognize and address and solve that root, all surface symptoms you were once drowning or tangled in will automatically resolve. You cannot control other people. You cannot control what they do or don't do. In fact, if you try, you just became a part of one of the biggest root problems in the world today. But in this consensus reality construct, in this co-creation called Earth, you have immense influence. Everything you think, say, and do affects all other parts of the system you are a part of. You may not have control over the entire system, but you do have complete control over one thing in any system. You're part of it. Your part in the system is you. And so being a part of the system that we call the world, bring your personal best. Take total responsibility for you in that system. Don't base your degree of performance in that system or lack thereof off of the performance or lack thereof of any other part of the system. This includes any other person. Consider your behavior to be a demonstrative vote for what you want the world to be like. Cast your vote consciously. The future of humanity is being voted on by your thoughts, words, and actions today. Find the root. What is the antidote to that root? Become that antidote.